The Philadelphia Eagles can never have enough defensive linemen. It never seems like they're finished with their defensive linemen and filling out that defensive line. Once again, another offseason is here, and the Philadelphia Eagles have signed another premier defensive lineman. Javon Hargrave of the Pittsburgh Steelers, one of the top interior defensive linemen on the free agent market, has signed with the Philadelphia Eagles. Before I give you my thoughts on this move, make sure you do Gronk Spike the like button, subscribe to the Bottom Line View for more NFL free agency reactions just like this, and of course, comment your opinion. What do you think of this move? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you kind of in the middle? Do you wish they would have spent the money elsewhere? Let me know in the comment section below. Eagles fans, I know that you guys, for whatever reason, you didn't want to spend the money on corner. You wanted to continue to spend the money on the defensive line. And I get it. That's the way you won the Super Bowl. That's the way this team's been built for seasons, and you've been successful doing it. I get it. And you've done it again. Roseman's done it again. Peterson's done it again. They're at it again, adding more defensive linemen. Fletcher Cox and Javon Hargrave are going to be an absolute terror for opposing quarterbacks, opposing running backs. You're not running on this team, period, end of story, up the middle. You're going to have to run to the outside. And in a way, that does dictate opposing offenses. Because if you want to run up the middle, I mean, go ahead. Like, the interesting thing about the Eagles is, I think they have the personnel. They don't really have any linebackers right now, which... They need to add one or two of those. But the thing about them is they can dictate personnel because they could play in nickel. But with the ability of Fletcher Cox and the ability of Javon Hargrave, if they have those two guys in the middle of the defense and they're in nickel, which is supposed to be a smaller defensive package, they can still stop the run out of that defense, which I think gives them the ultimate advantage in terms of dictating to an offense when you can stop the run in nickel it's in insane because you can have the coverage guys out there to stop the pass as well as the run and i think that's what the eagles are going for here they're also adding more depth to their rotation they love having the line change there in philadelphia the multiple defensive line units that they can just run through and they love rotating their linemen so hargrave He's going to the Eagles on a three-year contract worth $39 million, 26 fully guaranteed, according to Ian Rappaport, and that's $13 million per year. He becomes the highest paid nose tackle in the NFL. Now, I don't believe he's actually going to be playing nose tackle because the Eagles are more of like a traditional 4-3 defense, and the Steelers were a 3-4 defense. And like I just said, nickel is the primary package that these defenses play nowadays, so what I've seen from Hargrave is a guy that was always excellent versus the run. He's always been a terror stopping running backs in the backfield, disrupting the run game. But where he's really gotten a lot better is pass rushing wise. He's really developed his pass rushing the last couple of seasons and PFF shows that. I mean, he had slightly better run grade, 77.2, 76.8 in the pass rush. So very even. He was the eighth ranked defensive interior defensive lineman in the NFL this past season and he's been really good for like three seasons four seasons in a row I mean Hargrave has probably been the most underrated player on the Steelers defense to me because all the attention has been on TJ Watt all the attention has been on even Bud Dupree over Hargrave Cam Hayward Stephon Tuitt Hargrave is that nose tackle that's been playing for them and it's been the reason they've been so good versus a run it there in Pittsburgh so you add him to a defensive line with Fletcher Cox, Derek Barnett, Brandon Graham, Malik Jackson, and then we'll see if they re-sign Vinnie Curry. But it looks like they might move on from Timmy Jernigan, but I can never count out the Eagles re-signing Timmy Jernigan because it seems to happen every single season. But this gives you a really good defensive line. I mean, just look at it. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Javon Hargrave, and then you could rotate in Malik Jackson more as a pass rusher and then have Derek Barnett on the edge. That's that's really good. That's nearing 49er territory right there for your defensive line, and you're getting back to the strength of what your defense was when you won that Super Bowl. So I love this move. I think it's a really good move. The only thing I kind of question is the fit, but I think Hargrave is good enough in any system to succeed. He's 6'2", 305, 
And I do think it's actually going to help him as a pass rusher being next to Fletcher Cox to take on more one-on-ones and less double teams. He had six and a half sacks in 2018, four sacks in 2019, both big steps forward compared to 2016 and 2017. He's only 26 going on 27, young player entering his prime. Another great move from the Eagles. They seem to have and know what they're doing every offseason. So there you go, Eagles fans. My thoughts on Javon Hargrave in Philadelphia. He goes from Pittsburgh to Philadelphia, staying in Pennsylvania. I love the move. It's Mitch. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, Gronk spike the like button. Subscribe to the Bottom Line View for more NFL free agency reactions just like this. And of course, comment your opinion. Let me know what you thought of this move. It's Mitch. Thanks for watching. Peace out.